I'm having a great time. Hopefully you are too. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's do a quick team recap for all you people who did miss the last episode. It was a kill episode, so you guys got to murder some Pokemons. Um, you guys chose to murder Joe, which is big sad, but it's whatever. So, of course, you saw what we added. I'm not too like, oh my gosh, you got to preserve. We got to show you guys all that. Oh my gosh, the stuff. So, team trained to level their uh, 48, not 38, 48, 48. And the reason, of course, is because I was the last ace. And yeah, so we got Tarot with the docile nature, drizzle ability, fly, feather dance, air slash, cross poison. We got Adam with the intimidate ability with the hammer arm, bug bite, earthquake cut. We have Sakura with the new moveset. Water four, water spout, Psy Beam, Psycho Boost, and Draco Meteor. So, like, this thing is a big threat, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> we love having big threats on the team. Then we got Curious with the Tinted Lens ability. Hold it with, uh, Energy Ball, Leaf Blade, Rock Smash, and Strength. We got Ronda with the Wise Glasses, which Ronda does not need anymore, so we gotta take that off of Ronda. With the moves Superpower, Sacred Fire, Detect, and Sword Stance. We have Dopey, our final Mon, with the Blaze ability, which we didn't have anything to take advantage of, sadly. Flash Cannon, Surf, Rock Climb, and Reflect. Honestly, holding that King's Rod, it's... I, I, I was like, I swear we have one. I swear we have one. And we did, so I was right. Because, you know, sometimes I pay attention to what I'm doing in the game, and it helps. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what I can give... Uh, what I realistically... Oh, yeah. No, I know. I know. This is better. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what I can give Rhonda. Oh, this. <laughs> that. That thing. That thing that makes all moves 90% accurate or less. You know, I like that. I like uh, the AI having a chance to miss no matter what they do. Unless they have no guard. And then they don't have an accuracy check. But, you know, that's besides the point. It's still... The point is that I still was able to get what I needed. Does it tell me how many hyper potions I have? 17. Oh, my gosh. Wow, we are going to have money for days, apparently. And I'm not going to complain. Uh, we have three Jorbeaks. <laughs> Why? Oh my god. Honestly, I don't need any of them, but I'm going to keep one just in case. Um, I don't see us getting a Steel type, so I'm not worried. That would be great for Curious, so I'm going to keep that. Um, that's good, too. I'll sell both of those. Both of those. I'll, I'll keep the Toxic Plate just in case I want it. Insect Plate I won't need. Dusk Stone I'm going to keep. That I won't need. Because we're not going to have a kill episode. So it's fine. Uh, wise Glasses. We'll keep one. Upgrade. Buy. Star Piece. Buy. Experience Share. Buy. I don't like you. Black glasses is good. Quick powder is buy. It's only literally ten dollars. Buy that. Buy that. Oh, I'm not getting a happening. I won't carry get a happening, so it's fine. Buy. I highly doubt I'll need that, but I'll keep that just in the case. Uh, soft sand. I'm gonna go ahead and keep because I have earthquake. I have skull plate. I only need one. Escape Rumble, I'll keep. Never mind, I shall keep. Razor Fang. Buy. Cleanse Tag. Buy. Shiny Stone, I'll keep. Stardust, buy. Smoke Ball, I'll keep. That's gone, and that's gone. Yes. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, uh, we have $100,000 in our bank account, which is great, as Tony the Tiger would say. And... It's only going to get even better from here. So, I am going to go ahead and put Curious in the front of the party. Because, well, one, I should probably have healed, which I haven't done yet. Good job, John. I went to the Pogwa Center, grabbed Dopey, leveled up Dopey, and never healed. Good job. Just didn't even think it to heal. Because, you know, healing, what's that? Why is that important? Obviously. Healing, that's such a dumb thing to do. Totally. Uh, sometimes, sometimes I'm too silly for my own good. Okay, run and, uh, 
this is such a good Pokemon. I actually was I was highly considering uh, putting uh, I was gonna call it Cher or uh, Balloon. Yeah, Balloon. I was highly considering putting Balloon on the team, but I didn't. Oh, I don't know you. All right, we met in Eternity City. Listen, for Team Galactic's sake, you should keep away. I don't want to deal with you. Don't waste your time coming to Failstone. Oh my gosh, I lost and I'm upset. Like, oh my god, I get it. You can be highly critical of yourself, but there's really no reason to. You're fine. You're okay. Life will go on. I just realized it doesn't matter because it's not actually an encounter. Good job. Unless this is Lakefront. Oh, Lake Acuity. Okay, so then it was actually an encounter. Um, that I just totally was like, I ran from. To be fair, it's a Krabby. Don't get mad, okay? We don't, we're not getting any more encounters. And I love Dopey, so don't get mad. I already love Dopey and I've had it on the team for 2.5 seconds. But it's fine because Dopey is beautiful, okay? And I don't want any words about how Dopey is not beautiful because Dopey is super beautiful, okay? Like... <laughs> I'm already defending Dopey. It's been like not even an episode of Dopey and I'm already defending it. And okay, to be fair, part of the reason why I'm defending it is because, mm, I don't know, it's almost like I had it in a draft league before and I love this mod. The fact that Joy gave me access to this mod by killing a mod that I actually really liked having on the team was amazing. Like, I really love Lantern, but also like it's Celebros in the top 10 for me of favorite Pokemon. So, I'm not mad. <laughs> like, I can't be mad because I'm literally using a Pokemon that I really love and enjoy. Uh, so, again, totally a W. And nothing you can say or do changes it from not a W. That's how it is. And that's how it is. Door is locked. Special keys needed. Oh, so I can't do that until I go over here. Got it. So, um... <laughs> The levels in here are going to be 40s, mid 40s. So that's kind of sketch because mid 40s is just like, oh no, like what bad things are going to happen in these mid, in the mid 40s and stuff. So we'll see. Hopefully it's fine, but I'm not, I'm not 100% trusting of this. I feel like Charizard just responded with an LOL and like, I don't even need to look at it like to know that because it's so such a short thing. So, okay, I guess I have to explain why I'm like, Charizard probably did this. Because me and my explaining. So, anyway, it's the first week of month. Obviously. So, today's word of the day is promiscuous. Um, which is basically, like, having, or being characterized by having, I think it was Tate, not, it was, uh, basically a lot of sexual relationships that don't go anywhere. So... Of course, Charizard messed around and was like, this definitely defines you. And I'm like, no, not in real life, but in my, um, in my fantasies, 100%. Um, because, and then I went on and explained why, like, we all know who, so I don't need to explain it. Um, it's like super cute and attractive because, oh my gosh. <laughs> Cause of course I had to, right? You know, it's me. I have to explain why I like literally am omega attracted to our six foot two god of a poketuber um is it, he might be six three anyway six two or six three god of a poketuber um doesn't matter it's one inch it's fine it definitely doesn't matter 100 percent one inch doesn't matter if it's in height uh, <laughs> i don't know why i just did that Oh my god, that's gotta be a cringy moment in compilation. Okay, anyway, moving on. Um, yeah, so, um, anyways, there it is. There was, uh, uh, yeah, so I did that. <laughs> anyway, doesn't matter. And so I was making fun of it, and I was like, you know, you can't take my eyes, like, you gotta tell me, you can't deny that, like, this person is literally the hardiest snack in the world. Although I spelled hardiest wrong. I, th I think I said heartiest, which I guess he does have a heart, but everybody has a heart. I'm going nowhere. So, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, <laughs> I just 
said the same thing in just a different order. Joy is gonna kill me today. Like, if there's a day that Joy's gonna murder me, it would be today. Which, I guess, is fine. Because, like, sometimes, days like today, I deserve it. <laughs> and, uh, carrying on and moving forward. Yeah, so that's why. Um, there's a whole joke. And literally, I got it right. I moved my game to see if I was right, and I was. It was literally LOL with a, uh, uh, crying emoji face. Because that's how much I know and love you guys. I literally can know your texts before you text them. Which is love. So, you should leave a comment to question of the day. No, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, don't leave a comment question of the day. Um, you should leave a comment and see, and maybe if I was right on your comments. Um... Who knows? Maybe I was completely wrong. You should try and prove me wrong. Even though I can literally say I was right the entire time. But I'm not going to do that because I'm very trustworthy and wouldn't do that. But. Yeah. <laughs> We're, today's, today's the day. Today's the day. You know it. Oh, hi, Skarmory. Uh, I don't have a way to deal with you effectively. <clears throat> I really don't have a way to do it. I'm gonna go to Raw. Oh boy. No, that's a bad idea too. Ah. Oh. Huh. Dopey, get out here. <laughs> I get to use Dopey! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. See? Hit me with a physical move. I put the King's Rock on Dopey for a reason. Or hit me with Gust. That does 20 damage. Not even. Okay. Well, we're fine. Like, here's the thing. Dopey has Reflect on top of this, too. So, like, I could Reflect with Dopey and be like, yeah, you're not hitting me at all. I'm, like, a physical wall that has, like, King's Rock that didn't go into effect. What? Uh, wing oh, no, it's not physical moves. It's contact moves. Wing but it literally is a wing attack. You are slapping me with your wing. That should be a contact move. Don't know why it's not, but okay. Hi, Tauros. Say hello to Rhonda's Fist. Because it's going to wreck you. I, like, I am so happy that Rhonda had one vote on, on her. Or not even a vote. Rhonda had no votes on her. Literally, okay, so the final score, I didn't even talk about this. Which, now I'm talking about it 12 minutes into the video, because good job. Um, it was, uh... Lantern Joe had 12 votes to be dead, and then you had uh, Tarok, who had 8 votes. So that was the, the next one that was going to die. So Joy had basically, because Joy was the last person to comment, Joy's decision was, leave up to a coin flip and don't kill anyone, and then I have to coin flip in the episode, or kill one of the two Mons. <laughs> like, you left Joy with one of the, most, the toughest decisions ever. Especially because Joy, Joy, Joey, Joy, whatever. Joy loved Lint. Like, that was one of Joy's favorite mons on the team. So, leaving her to have to kill Lantern or Tarot was just not a scenario that she wanted to be in at all. But, I mean, it's like a scenario of power, which is fun. But also, <laughs> she had to decide who to kill. So, yeah, I was, it was super awesome, though. Um, to see who died. Like, honestly, I was like, okay, who's dying? Like, okay, so my thought process was, it's either Joe or Rhonda. Those were the two people, or the two mods, I was like, okay, they're dying. I don't, like, if I'm not gonna be sad if one of those two dies. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna be sad if Rhonda dies, but, like, I'm definitely way more sad if Rhonda died um, than Joe, because I had Rhonda for two generations now, and, like, Rhonda's just been a staple, so, like, if you guys murdered the staple, I would have been a little big, big, big sad. But if we, you guys didn't end up murdering the staple, and you'll probably murder her before she goes to Gen 5, and it's fine. Like, it's okay. Like, because, you know, I kind of, again, I'm sitting here, and I'm ready for them to die. Like, you get to a point in this, in Saga Log, where you're like, okay, I'm ready. They're going to die. <laughs> At some point here in the future, they're going to die. And, like, you get you get attached to some of these mods, especially the ones that you've had for such a long time. Like, Tarot and Curious, and, like, the list just builds. Especially because in Sinnoh, we've been, we've been having some pretty good luck when it comes to not dying. 
So with us having the luck that we've had when it comes to not dying, it does. It makes it a lot harder to be like, okay, we're fine. Like, like, uh, well, no, not necessarily. Because just because we are doing okay doesn't necessarily mean that we're all, like, dead and stuff. So, again, like, with all these mons that have stayed alive for the so long, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, all these mons are dying. And it's sad because you see, like, your team and how, like, we got, we were at a point where our team was in such a shamble, I thought I was going to lose. And now we're, our team's built up again. It's like this weird exponential curve of just like, oh, we're fine again. And it just happens in such a weird order, I guess is why my brain says this is weird. Because, like, Kanto, right? We, we died immediately. But after we died, we kind of were like, okay, we regrouped. We got our team. And a Persian carried us. Timmy the Persian carried us. And then we go to Johto. Johto is just easy. It's a generation that it, it, it's just, it is. It is what it is. It's just a super easy generation that we know and love and that we deal with. So, then we have Hoenn, who, what? And, then, and Hoenn kicked my butt the entire way through. It was not giving me anything and no wiggle room whatsoever. So, again, you carry over the whole no wiggle room and there's nothing that you can do and... It's like, okay, well, what are we going? How are we going to be better? What are we going to do to be better? And, like, Hoa not giving me any options to get better was hard. Because I'm like, okay, well, what am I doing? And now, like, how am I going to make it? Um, and then we got Rhonda in that generation, too. So, we got Rhonda. Um, and that was cool, because we got, we got Rhonda as a choke. Um, and, you know, you do what you can, and figure it out with Rhonda and we did and we made it Rhonda work and now Rhonda's gonna make it to a, her second Elite Four appearance um I shouldn't say that yet I'm being a little bit too uh ambitious here because I'm like uh Rhonda might not die <laughs> like it's just a thing it, it I'm hoping that Rhonda stays alive but I can't guarantee that Rhonda stays alive so yeah I should be a little bit more oh my gosh Of all moves that Snorlax has, that it whipped first turn. Counter? Really? Oh my gosh. You really had to pull counter? We are just talking about Pokemon being alive and staying alive and... Making it to the Elite Four, and then we get countered? Ugh. At least Dopey's here. Counter. It makes sense, because they would go for fighting moves if they had it. So, like, and counter was the fighting move it had. But, ugh. Like, that's insane. And there goes our our psychic resist, or one of our we had we had a team of three psychic resists, so that we didn't have to deal with it. Um, and now here we are having a problem. Really? Are we? Don't tell me that was one step away. That no 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 no. Okay, good. The TM for wing attack. Cool. That doesn't matter at all. Well, time to go figure out who we're adding to the team now. Because it could literally be anyone. Oh, that's a that's a big yikes. That is such a big yikes for us. Like to lose Curious in that way. To counter, like again, any other move I get hit by, I'm fine. Um, I know Curious is not a tank by any means. By any stretch of the imagination. So it does make sense that Curious is gonna be the one that dies out of the group. 
but I don't even know who to add to the team, like, in response. That's my issue. Because now I have to tramp something else. Like, ugh. Like, we just had, we, like, as, uh, I love, I also, I love how it's as soon as Joe is gone, that, that happens, right? Although, I don't think I would have, I, like, I, I could have switched into Rhonda, right? I could have done that, but, I was like, okay, Leaf Blade's gonna be enough damage. Our options are limited here. Like, Absol would not be bad. Arkham. Arkham wouldn't be bad. Um, we have, okay, what's, what do we have on the team, I guess? Party Pokemon. No, I want to see the party. Whatever. Like, what would be good for our team? That's what I got to look at right now. So, because I guess we're building again. So, <laughs> we got a Ground Dragon type. So, that's Quad Week to Ice. But we have Counter and that and Rhonda. Um, and we Dopey as well. Um, so we have two, two mods weak to ice, but two mods that resist ice. Um, dark type, we have two mods weak to it, one that resists, and it seems like we're really heavily reliant on Rhonda. Um, electric type, we're fine. We have two mods weak, but Adam's immune. Water type, we're totally okay. Um, actually, because we have no mods that are weak to water, so we don't need to worry about water. Fire, we got a quad resist, and a resist, and nobody's weak to it. Rock, we have a resist, two resists. That's fine. Ghost. Ghost is an issue. Uh, ghost, yeah, Ghost is a pretty big issue for our team right now. It seems like Ghost is the, the, the worst for our team. But, lay in part the problem that it, it is Ghost. It totally is. Um, issue number one. We don't have anything for it ourselves. Um... Like, the only thing is Balloon. Queen is a mild nature, which I believe is a very positive nature. Like, Queen seems to be my number one, like, I want option. And I'm going to listen to my gut. And go ahead and pick Queen. Because that quad resistance to fighting and grass is helpful. Super effective against fighting and grass is also helpful. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love you all so much and keep up the amazing work you all do every single day. Love you all. See ya on Sunday. Bye.